Hi. <laughs> Karen's looking for something. I'm looking for the host coat. I thought, yeah, we should. Oh, we have that, but you know, okay. Well, well, you can find it at KarenTitus.com. Right here. Oh, oh, it is under your face. We we have so many fabulous cards to show tonight, which is really fun. I uh, <laughs> yes, it's freezing here. I'm looking at this. Yes, we're getting a blizzard too, starting but Wednesday night. Oh, it is warmer. It's probably about 17 degrees warmer today than it will be in two days. Yes, so. it's going to really drop. Uh, we just got home like 10 minutes ago um, from our hometown of Jackson, Minnesota. And uh, it was my cousin's funeral today. And it was just really special. You know, it's funerals are hard, but boy, it's nice to talk about people's lives and just realize the impact that we all have on each other's lives. I thought, um, and what was really, really special about today Very is special. Barb was the flower girl in my parents' wedding. We've always known her, been close. You know, we've all did. I didn't, did you even know that? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, um, so forever we've been close and my dad and I just wrote that on the thing, but my dad died at 94 and that was 14 years ago. My dad had an amazing voice. So he's saying a lot, um, he's saying often that we have a few recordings and she chose when planning her service to play one of the recordings of my dad singing. So, you know, it just kind of brings home to me, like all the generations, all the family and friends too. how we just go on the, the generations, the extended part of our families. And then Tim um, videotaped that little part so we can share with mom who can't travel anymore. And she will be so touched to, feel like they yep. they played that song it was how great they are and you know my dad had about six songs that we have recorded that were just amazing so anyway it was um it was it was just very tender and special and we didn't know that that was going to happen no yet. we didn't know we were we were totally surprised so anyway i just um oh just you know love your families hold them close this is you know a season that you just think about cuz we never know what tomorrow brings so yeah <laughs> So, um, yeah, so kind of, re and then the snow came and it was way slower coming home than we were expecting. So we're glad to get home. We're getting older and we don't like to travel as much in a little inclement cars, weather. Cars in the ditch. <laughs> yes. And so I have Traffic. not returned calls or anything today. Just know it'll be tomorrow. This was, um, this is one of those things. Um, let's see. And the only announcements I have, oh, I, well, I better show the host code since yes, I since you thought I couldn't it. find it. There's only a few days left. In this month is that amazing and i'm making more of these i'm so thrilled this feels like christmas to me making these gifts for customers so just know a bunch a bunch more are going out tomorrow and if you don't have the new catalog if, if you have it for me the last of the list i have is going out tomorrow so uh, but always let me know in a few days and if you haven't requested one just request one here in titus.com there is a free catalog i put the link on these two now uh, uh, and then we send them out Argentina to victory. Oh, look at that messy in there. Yes, I know. Whoa, whoa. Good look at look that. East okay. But, <laughs> oh, so yes, a lot of dramatic sports news this past week. So Especially very fun. Thanks, you guys. Share. Oh, and this week on Thursday, since it's close to Christmas, what we're going to do, first we we're going to cancel. And I thought, we're just going to invite you into our living room. And we are going to do a little tour of my new desk because people are wondering, so what kind of a table did you get? And I thought, we'll just show you a little Christmas here and pretend we can have you over for tea. And then we're going to open all the rest of the Christmas cards that we've gotten from you guys. So it's just going to be a settle in relaxing time. No project, just a settle in kind of open house with us. Mm -hmm. And I did want to show, I'm not usually, I, I got cold today with all this traveling in the car. And I got this wrap. I'm going to stand up. I didn't even know what you did with this. This was a Stampin' Up! gift at on stage, and I had no idea what to do with it, and I have gotten to love it. Uh, you know, I just really like having... It doesn't have a hood, you. No, no, no this how it's over. But I put it on when I'm relaxing. So anyway, just had to say... Uh, Very oh, nice. good. You said you are looking forward to the tour. So I said, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to show you our table. We're just, um, we're just so grateful for all of you guys. I could just... Never, ever say enough. Yes, Jean. Hello from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, the Christmas right. City. Absolutely. I've been there in December at one time. That was fun. So I'm really excited to show. We have a whole bunch of cards to show. So we're going to show from the new mini catalog first. And, you know, that's, this starts in January. 
And like I mentioned before, don't place an order until you've just even thought about whether you might want the starter kit. You know, because show? there is an obligation. Um, we can show the outside, but not the inside. What's your, what's your? Camera? Okay. Whoa! But this is <laughs> this is it, and the celebration flyer. And now that I'm knocking cards all around, <laughs> hopefully. Oh no! Did we lose a name? Yeah, I lost a name. Let me see. I've got a deck to the ground here. That was a good idea, Tim. If yeah. I were just uh, more ambidextrous or something, it just would work better. We had better get started. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're so grateful for you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. That's so sweet. Um, and I love settling in afterwards, but I am going to take tonight off. I will return calls tomorrow. Um, it, it's been a long, exhausting day. We're starting to feel our oh. age and I need to <laughs> take a nice warm bath and settle in, <laughs> but call me tomorrow. <laughs> so anyway, but let's enjoy looking at cards. Okay, this first card, and so I'm not even saying the names of these sets or what page they're on because some of you don't have the catalogs yet. You know, one of the pluses for us as demonstrators, we get to order things early. So that's why I have cards to show you, but I can't show the inside of the catalog because usually we do kind of a walkthrough. So tonight you're just going to enjoy looking at this. And if you have the catalog, you can always try to look these up or ask questions, but I didn't have time to go find them anyway. But I love this monochromatic. Mm -hmm. And look at this is a great way to add the ribbon while leaving it flat. And this is uh, embossed here, this folder right here. So I, I think that is just gorgeous. It's very, very royal. Oh, Rebecca said, and she's in Rice Lake. She said they had 19 inches of snow and it snowed every day since. And now Blizzard Watch. Oh, my goodness. You guys are really, really buried. So did you see there some more? Okay. I did. And I have two cards I'm going to show. Oh, yeah, you you take care. I said, oh, my goodness, we don't know what we're going to get. But I'm going to show these side by side because these show the new alphabet. How fun are these? And both of these, you know, if you're using the alphabet, it's nice to use the adhesive sheet if you're going to put them on. But look at these use the negative spaces. Is that mm. cool? So we have smiles and love to you. This one is from Brenda Springer. We have wild smiles. Yeah, wild and wild for you. And both, you know, you're seeing a lot of new papers here too. Both of these are new papers uh, by Debbie McNeil. Oh, and she did a, thanks for being so kind and generous. Love that inside. That's really lovely. Um, but aren't those awesome? And you know, if you're making cards like this, you get a double out of it because now you can do the smiles on another card, the other part and the wild. And then this is the negative part. So it's just the way to work with alphabet. If you're going to go to the work, because it's a little putzier. Might as well do two cards, right? Uh, Audrey, we're thrilled. Yes, Merry Christmas over to you in Australia. It's so fun that we're a worldwide audience. <laughs> yeah, Susan in Michigan, she's uh, gearing up for a blizzard too. A whole lot of us are under this blizzard, blizzard watch. So we'll see. But I love these. I think those are really fun. Uh, yeah, and a whole bunch of you are freezing too. Let's see. I'm going to leave that. Okay. These, we're going to look at some flower ones here. You know, when we talk about ribbon, notice this too, how it just goes round and round mm -hmm. again, another way of keeping it flat. Mm -hmm. And we have the little um, thing there. This is Jessica Brigden. And these aren't all necessarily from the same stamp set either. I'm just, I'm just kind of going ahead and looking at things. Um, these are though from the same papers. And look how cool there's a, a way to use squares. And then this is the same. This is turned sideways. This is a new die. We love dies that fit words. And this also has layers that made the good you do come back to you. And look, you know, it's interesting because these cards look nothing alike. But you see how this ribbon uses yep. a lot of the same elements. Yep. And this ribbon goes like that, too. They each have a flower accent. Yep. And that wasn't even planned. But isn't that cool? And this one is Mary Coke. Yep. And Mary and Jess, no, is it? Huh? Is it Jess? Mm -hmm. Mary and Jess are in the same card club. So they. Yeah, that's right. That's they, right. They, they, uh... No, they're not. <laughs> okay, here's a fun one. Look at the fun heart. And just wanted to say, I love the bikes on this. Mm -hmm. This With pretty new paper. And, and I guess whatever I want to say, I'm just going to put inside. And this one came without a name. So if anyone knows who this is, I'm going to make sure I hold these up higher because I know we've talked about that. But I think that's really pretty. Oh, I was talking about how cold it is. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and look, at here's another just really, really simple card. This is Kathy Chapman. 
Look at the happy birthday, one stamp going across, and the ribbon. And some bling. And some bling. Isn't that pretty? Yep. How many bling, Tim? Three. All right. See? One, an two, three. Number. An odd that's number. We talked about that. And that's a nice ribbon. But isn't that pretty? And now we're going to see. I'm going to show these side by side because here's another one with that same stamp, this time colored, and little in the background. How many bling, Tim? Three. Oh, look at that. And this, the middle part opens. Oh, this is a new saying. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. <laughs> And this one is from Kim Williams. And I have one more with this. Do you know what I just celebrated a couple of days ago? What? My half birthday. You're, Tim, Tim really gets into celebrating, you guys. And he came in from the mail. December so we were gone. He came back. is my half birthday. He came in from the mail and goes, Karen, I think we have 20 cards here. So I <laughs> have plenty of cards just on Thursday. He gets really excited about all this. We so had it's so fun. Cards. Okay. So see, he even counted. How cool is that? But now notice this one. This combines like... Do you see we have the that? And then mm -hmm. here the words are stamped over. Mm -hmm. So this one is from Linda Cullen. But I want you to notice that these all use the same flower in different ways, which is just really cool. Yeah, the font on the happy birthday. That is really pretty. Um, love this font too. Oh, those are just really fun. Very okay. Nice. Uh, here is another stamp set that I think is just cute as can be. This first one is Heather Guer Guero and she did the inside. That's beautiful. It's a lemon. Mm -hmm. And look at this, sending you a big squeeze. <laughs> love the words, love the layout, love the vellum. That's and then we have nice. the lemons there. And then look at this one. And this one is Amanda Van Habermat. Same stamp set, different colors. Even these are quite similar, those Ooh. two part. But look, it's totally done differently. I just love that. And they both say, sending you a big squeeze. So does See that she make did that the an inside. orange? Could be an orange. I think this one looks probably a little more like an orange or, or grapefruit. It could be. I don't know. Maybe. But have a great, have a zesty birthday. Oh, that's perfect. This is really just a happy set. I just really, really like that. So um, Chan's asking about Christmas cards. We're showing Christmas cards we've gotten from you guys on Thursday. So today we're doing a sneak peek at the catalog. And then Thursday, we're just going to enjoy more birthday cards. Okay, I have two stamp sets we have a bunch from. This one is Delicate Dessert. This is Desert <laughs> Dessert, a Delicate Dessert. It doesn't look like dessert, does it? <laughs> okay, I might be tired tonight. This is Peggy Toldy. And look how cool this is. Very cool. So this opens from there. So this is a desert flower. And look They're at this desserts. paper. They're mm -hmm. edible. So you Sending can warm rays your way. We're going to look a few of these side by side. Here is a gorgeous one with the arrow fold. And from Judy Anderson, and she's on my team. Is, is that lovely? We've done this in class before, but I don't think we've ever done it on a Thursday. So we might do that hmm. on some Thursday session. But looks, I've got, looks complicated. And look how this is just stamped in a pastel. This is stamped in gray granite and then some blend added. So great way to do a desert flower. Well, Rebecca says there are edible flowers, so it could be dessert. Yeah. And it could just be Karen's tired. <laughs> okay, and here's another. Oh, I love this one. And look at these. This is a dye in there. A couple mm -hmm. things to notice here. And I love how she's layered. Look at these different colors. And then here's the flower. And look at this framing. We have this outer frame. And those little lines and stuff are all in the frame. And then we have this frame that fits inside. And either of these can be used separately too. So I think that's really cool. This is Betty Weisbrick. And that is gorgeous. Nice. Uh, oh, I love this. Sending warm rays your way. You are what sunshine feels like. Isn't that <laughs> oh, a nice comment? That's very nice. That is really, really a nice comment. Okay. And then you are what sunshine feels like. This is another die in the set. How cool is that? This is Natalie Travis. And there we have the little flower uh, snuck in right there. And then we've got this one. Oh, this is Holly. This is our, our Holly. You all know Holly. Um, and look how cool this is. So here we have that flower again, paper. And notice the framing. Isn't that framing just fun? Mm -hmm. You are what sunshine feels like. And then it opens like that. That is a beautiful card. Let's compare it to this one. Those are kind of looking here. 
And this one is just tone on tone. So this is just a darker, but I wanted to point out this frame. This frame is done with this new kind of a metallic -y kind of paper. So just compare the gray and that. I mean, what mm -hmm. fun things to look at. They just look different. Oh, your smile is pure magic. Oh, I love that Thank saying you. too. Love that. And this is Nancy Olson. And I just think those cards look so dissimilar and so fun. And then we have this one. So this one is, and she's got the inside. The best is yet to come. Oh, this is another die in the set, which is very cool. Mm -hmm. This is Sharon Balk. And this is uh, where we just have the different colors of paper arranged. And then, you know, the words are stamped right over the flower, which is really cool. So these are some fun ways um, to look at dyes and to use dyes. Okay, now we're going to move it. You know, I mentioned that there was this new set of tags and words to go in it. But look how lovely. This is a... Uh, one of the tags, and I love the scripting. Here's to beautiful beginnings and happily ever afters. I love her background. So this is, I'm saying I love all the time tonight, aren't I? <laughs> I have to work on vocabulary here. But I love that we have a couple strips. It's like a strip card. I like it. I like it. how she added that color. And then I this like is. A bunch. And, yeah. And then this is uh, a, a die behind there. And this is Tracy Filter. But, you know, a really simple, sweet layout. So then we have, since we're on that same paper. I'm going to go get my scarf, my necklace. Right? Okay, I know it is. We <laughs> came home to a rather chilly house. So I was going to point, this is the same papers. So I just was going to point that out. But look how pretty this is, and it's very simple. Mm -hmm. So we have the embossed background. We have the flower. I wish that would show up because that's really pretty. It is person. pretty, isn't it? It is pretty. It's, hard to uh, it's see Kelly on Burkhart. I also think this is really a fun color. This is that orchid. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it, you know, it's just a bright, fun color. And now look at this. How cool is this? Now we have flowers on black. Black, you know, white on white makes just a very gorgeous, classy car, card. But also black as a background makes things very striking. So I think that's really fun, too. So this black. And it's sympathy. Yes. And in, when using a bossy folder, it just adds that extra. But isn't that just pretty with this on the black mm -hmm. with deepest sympathy? Yes. And that's one of the new dies from that same die set that we're talking about for words. I just got the little flower in there. And this is Dina Lenneman. And we were at a funeral today. Okay. We have, a, okay. This is Leela Mankey. And generous. You're too kind and generous. And she is the inside now, I was showing this card in our last class where we did all about tags, but look how she's used tags. She's got this tag and then that one behind, and they're not even connected. I just love that. I always love noticing differences because I do this kind of thing, but I make them connected and then swing out. You've seen my cards. And then I look at this and think, okay, that's an entirely new idea I haven't even thought about. I'd love how that looks. And then instead of a tie, she's got a little bow right there. So I thought, how cool is that? And then um, uh, using the dye as a sponging thing in the background. But that's beautiful. And while we're with these colors, yes, these, co these cards are from the new mini. These are things um, customers can order in January. Mm -hmm. Oh, and look at this one. I want to point out how these colors are similar. This is Carol Rosengren. And this is... Now... I'm not sure what to call it. I love how she did this. I've made these as more of a slide out card where you pull this part out. Look mm -hmm. how she did hers. I love it's it. like that. And I love that. So again, this is going to go into my box of things we're going to do. You know, is that beautiful? Very cool. Yep. So another really cool fold. I keep a box of fold ideas, both for classes and for Thursdays. So it's perfect. Uh, someone here said she did 75 thank you cards for her husband, for all of his volunteers during COVID. Oh, that's a great thing to do. Are you going to put that aside? No, because I'll look at them afterwards again. Okay. This card, now I'm going to see the same flower. This is from Terry Gaines. And you guys are going to recognize this fold. This is one we did just Ooh. a couple weeks ago on a Thursday. Ooh. And I just want to say, this is the perfect, look at this. I didn't forget your birthday. Do you remember I read that before? 
I'm just stretching out the celebration. Mm. Is that perfect yeah. for this card? We are stretching out the celebration. I thought, I just love that. You couldn't have better words on that. That is so cool. So that is a fabulous card. Carrie, you are so, so I have creative. directions for that on my blog. You know, on my blog, you can download project sheets for all the different things that we do. So if you have questions about that. And then we have another one that I have just tons of samples for. So this can be popular. I also want to show cards. I love to hear which stamp sets and stuff are most exciting to you too, because that's fun. But this is really fun. So this is, uh, I don't know if it's by the bay or something about the bay, but look at this is, it opens this way and then it opens again. Love this, love this fold. So it opens twice. And this one is Amy Rich. And I just, and you can see these new papers. She's used a variety of papers from this set. I'm going to leave that while we look at another. And I this just, only has enough to say, love you. Honey. That's right. And that would, that would say it all, Tim, right? Would, that would sum would. it up. It'd be kind. Another card by Betty Weisbrook. We've shown a couple of beautiful cards from her tonight. Another, get this sympathy card. You can see the similarities and also the differences. So start looking at these die cuts. I think this die there is a stamp like these are stamped and then die cut there is a stamp this is also done with the paper so the die fits the paper right there mm. but you can see with a set like this you can create a lot of different visual images so i think that is really pretty i'm gonna look for some more visual image okay so while we're doing that let's see if there's any more of the little ones um oh okay so it, well, we'll look at this. Here's another bird one. So here, so I'm, you guys, I love comparing and contrasting. I love talking about, look at these are done in Navy. And then this is done in early espresso. And I, I love both of them. I just mm. love how you don't need to color things in and you can use other colors and they look just great. So look at this fun sympathy card. And we have some of the same elements, but they're just put on very differently. And then we have another one. How cute, how cute is that? And then we have this, okay. And this is gorgeous. This is a fold we did a while back too. Is that lovely? This is gonna stand like that. This is from Michelle Brant Baranek. I love this. And it's almost like a picture. So what she's done here is a little putz here, but I love how you can take all these pieces and then build your scene. Mm -hmm. Is that just stunning? I mean, yes. that is just an absolutely gorgeous card. Did you mention Marla's name? Rebecca says, which stamp said is most exciting? All of them. <laughs> um, oh, did I not mention? Oh, Marla Schnell. Thank you, yeah. Tim, for being on top no, of just it. Wait, I want oh. to say something mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. That background paper is so beautiful. Isn't that fun? I love that. And this background paper has, it's both pearlized and foiled. We've got some of each in it. So it's really very cool. We're going to show more. Like here, this card right here. This is Carol Nordquist. And if you can see, like this is gold foil there. Mm -hmm. And this is pearlized there. I don't, let's see if you can see it out there. So this is pearlized. So one side of these papers has the foil or the pearlized. And then the other side is um, plainer. But they're all just beautiful. And she has a strip card here. So we just have three strips in a square. And the fun little and a pearl shells right there. Pearl and a little pearl. You're a pearl, rare and precious. Okay. So this one will show, this is one of the backsides, if you notice, because this is not pearlized or foiled. But look how pretty that is. And this folds over one time. You know, the other card we showed, so twice. Isn't it fun how you can just take a variation on a card and just make things different? But I love these two little shells there. Mm -hmm. And this is a very subtly colored you very know, much, very, very much because that's subtle. This is subtle. This is Amy Rich. And then for not, and let's go to the same thing and look at this paper. This is another grouping of papers that is, um, that is new. And do you see how well this goes together? And then this is pearlized or silver there. This is Amy Notch. This is a beautiful sympathy card. And look how simple. It's just cut off. And we have the two papers. And then she's cut out another one as the shell and then put the oval on top of it. Very nice. So I think this is beautiful with beautiful colors. Yeah, it's not, this paper is just really very special paper. And then notice this one. 
you're going to see some more of the ones that are foiled, but look, this is one of the dies. It actually mm. opens and then you can put the little pearl inside. Is that cool? And it's a strip cardigan. We've got the three pieces and this is, oh, and I like how she did the little side. This is Rachel Kuhn. It's very nice. So that's really fun. And then next we have this one and here we have the pearl inside too. Now notice how this is colored. It really coordinates with this pearlized paper. Mm. And then it's thank you for everything. And this is you're a pearl. We're in precious. And this is Sue Kempter Miller. I love that paper. That is so cool. Yeah, isn't that, that cool? Shines. It's really pretty. And then I have, oh, I have two more of these. You're a pearl. So we're in precious. And again, this one is more monochromatic. It's just like that crumb cake. And it's just stunning. I love how she's added a couple up here. And this one is... How do you know they're a couple? Lonnie Piler. How do you know they're a couple? <laughs> yeah, Tim. <laughs> there we go. And I have one more, and then Tim is going to show you his favorite. Okay. Susan said that she did a pearl-themed tea once and talked about the creation of a pearl. That's fun. And that, that would be fun if you're doing a whole bunch of things like this. I love the, the layout of this card, too. This is Lisa Krauss, and she did a little on the inside. But if you notice, this is just a little strip. Now, usually when I show cards with strips, I have the strip on the side mm -hmm. and then the accent. I love that she has a pretty narrow strip right down the middle. The words go here, and those are actually shells, top and bottom. So you can see, so those are actually dyes pulling out of the color. Isn't that pretty? So that's two shells? Uh, yes, so that's two. So Tim is going to show his favorite from the mini, and then we're moving to celebration cards. So this is by Kelly Burkhart. And I just loved the colors. I loved that. It looks like a, I'm not sure what it looks like, but it's, it stands out. And I love how that extends. It's right behind yep. where the bird is yep. and the bird's done in navy. I mean, it's like, that's just really the accent you know flowing there. The, the great big um, piece of wood that, that holds up a dock. Looks like a, yeah, like we or like we look to me. This looks like reflections in a water of something. So it could be like that, something. But I don't know. But that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And is. do you remember what kind of a card this is? And I love how she did that too. It We've is. done a lot of these um, book binding. Book, no. Yeah, book, book binding card. That Very is cool. that is really lovely. Yeah, this is going to be really really popular. I think. Um, and there's sand. Yep. Is that homemade? I mean, just. Yep, that's a stamp. Oh, it's, it's a stamp. A, it's a stamp. Yep. Yeah, very nice. So Thank that's you. really cool. Next, we're going to talk about the free celebration items. Uh, so, oh, so fun. I, lo I love to come back and then I'm going to read all the comments, you know, so that's perfect. But this is, uh, so again, this is, um, I'm just going to show, these are some of the items. This is a stamp set you can get free with a $50 purchase. And I think this is a stunning card. This is made by Natalie Travis. I think this looks like that a painting. Pretty. It does. It's just colored with blends. And I love that this is a wood grain yep. background and then sending loving thoughts and prayers on that same kind of color. And the two little, I think that is just really gorgeous. This, I think, would also be a great masculine card for a great, um, well, and this, this would be a great sympathy card just with these words, but this would be a great um, masculine card or a card for anything in the winter. So I think that is, that is really or the fall. gorgeous. Yep. Or the fall. Very nice, Natalie. And I'm going to show, there is this adorable farm paper. And I'm mm. going to tell you right now, and it coordinates with a farm set in the catalog. Tim chose one, which no surprise out of this. So you're going to have to I wait did. to the end to see the one he chose. But also, I love this one too. This is Rachel Kuhn. Love how she's got the circle thing going on here. We got that cut out. And look at that cute little windmill. Got the little leaves thinking happy thoughts of you. And love this paper. Look I know. at all those vegetables. Really? Is that, that's very vintagey. Broccoli. Corn. Yeah, look at that. Cherry and just, tomatoes. Uh, this Peppers. makes me think of the old aprons. I mean, it's just yeah. what I what I just think of that. But that's going to be really, really fun. I love it. Then we have a really cute set with owls. And I love this card. Love how this is colored. And this is another set of papers that's a free celebration choice. But look what happy papers. 
This is Dina Lenneman. Little strip, but I thought, how cute is that? That is cute. And it's very bright. Yep. So we're going to show a few more of these owls. This one is Sharon Bulk. <laughs> and she put little sequins in the eyes just to do something a little different. <laughs> oh, and look at that. It really glitters here. <laughs> And then we've got this one. You know, the thing that's fun about these owls, look at all these colors people are choosing to use with them. So you can just go right out on a limb. Love the little trees there. This is Leela Monkey. And look at how, how uh, she's got the hot pink owl going on here and the different colors <laughs> going across that. <laughs> kind of friend. That's cool. Let's see. Here's another fun one colored really interestingly. This <laughs> one is Judy Anderson. And this is that cutoff little thing where this goes down and look at this she's got the fresh freesia owls and there we've got the pink so these are pretty styling eyes hoot hoot you're so cute <laughs> <laughs> so there's pretty fun yeah i always love just seeing ideas it inspires you on what you can do with them christine i agree with you and then we've got um oh here's another colorful one since we're doing colorful ones here first this is oh and this one had no name this is really, really done in purples. Look at that. That is cute. And that's really cute. And then a little background back there. So that's the same owl. Yeah. See, this is, a, there yeah. are three owls in the set. Let's see if we have them all. This, Do we have? That is. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah, isn't totally that something? Different. And they look different. So we have this one and this one. Whoa. And the one that fell on the floor. On the floor is the third one. And then there are words. But to so we'll align this up so you can see that owl, that owl, and that owl. Or those three. That makes sense. Wasn't so that fun? So that's <laughs> going to be really cute. Susan said she doesn't do cutesy, but the owl and the frog are on her list. I know I like working with cutesy. I don't send a lot of cutesy just because I'm not a cutesy kind of person. But they're so fun to work with. So then I go out on a limb and do it. This is from Carol Payne. And this one's a little tr more traditional looking. And I love this too. And notice how she's used that punch. So, you know, you don't always need dyes but she's used that um, newer punch that we have. And then she's punched out two of the green ones and separated them. So to see that goes out. So it's really, that's just three punches. I'm not sure what you mean. See this white punch is yep. the same as the green punch, but there's two of these green punches okay. pulled apart. So oh, it looks like there's a background. So you can do a Got look it. like that with just one punch, but I really like that. I think that, oh, and then one peeking there, <laughs> my friend, it's okay to not feel okay. <laughs> That's oh, very sweet. Sim that's a sympathy. Sim thing. Yes. Or uh, like you're going through hard times kind of. A, mm -hmm. And who toot, you're so cute. Now, and so even these in the browns are colored differently. This is Linda Cullen. This is definitely <laughs> a strip card. Just cattywampus like that with some mm -hmm. of the new papers, <laughs> which is really cute. And then one more. This is Kathy Chapman. This far, you're going to see this come up again in some other other things, this is from one of the new mm. free papers too. But it's interesting how she took this like lovely floral and then put this cute owl inside. Yeah. And this owl is done in grays. So a whole different look again. It's very nice. I like that. I like that background. That's, that's very pretty. Let's see. I have, so we're going to look at that paper a little more. Uh, okay, let's, let's hear it. Let's do this one. Okay, here's one using that paper. I think I have a couple of them, but we'll come to the other one when we hit it. Oh, here it is right here. Let's do them side by side. I'm just going to show this. So how fun is this? Here are, here's the new alphabet again. And this would be the cut out parts. So like we we're talking about before, if you're going to do hello, you're going to do it on something where then you're going to have the reverse image to work with too. And that hello just fits right inside that Ooh. same flower paper. I also have seen this flower paper used on the inside of a card. So let's say you're, we well, I'll talk about when we come to the next card, but I also love this. I love how she's just got those little added things there. Let's see, this card mm. is Laura Mulligan, and this card is nobody, no name. She's got the little B again, the happy birthday. Oh, that's really pretty. I love that. So, what fun ideas for this free paper? Here's what I wanted to point out. So, let's say this is from the same paper again, and this is from Dainty Flowers. So, this is a stamp set that coordinates with it. Um, from the thing, but some people were taking like this paper, putting it on the inside, and then just writing your greeting on the inside. 
So again, I'll show that again later. But isn't that cool? All the things that you can do. And look how simple this is. Very simple. Very pretty card. This is Jessica Brigden. And she did the inside like that. And then we have a really stepped up one of, let's see, I'm not even sure. I think that is, I think, okay, I think she stamped this twice, but I have to figure this out. Is that what she did? All right. I, I don't know. I better not say, but look how this wraps around and this card opens like this. And this has a fancy frame and this is Michelle Brannick. And then here is a really fun idea. This is Carol Payne. And this is Ooh. next year. The best is yet to come. We have the same paper, the same little arching thing. And this is a little calendar that, stick, that sticks up. Now I'm going to give you a little sneak preview because it's not. But one of the card kit cards that I'm sending out in January is going to be a card that incorporates the calendar. So you get the calendar with it. But I think that's really cool. So this makes a great gift. You can you know, keep tearing this off. These little calendars are also fun. You could use the month of somebody's birthday, circle the date and incorporate that into, these come from tailored expressions. Uh, so anyway, that's a sneak peek, but it'll be another week before you see the other. Okay, so then we're into a strip card. Celebrate you. I just call them strip cards because when you see that common theme and you look at all the different ways people do it and the then she's using that oval. Strip card. Yes, so this is Rhonda Bassler. So that's very fun. Then we have, okay, here's another with this paper. I just, this paper is so fun to work with, and I love what a simple card this is. Ooh. So we have the floral paper, then a more plain one, and then one of the new dyes there. You matter, just so many. May the good you do come back to you. And this is Carol Nordquist. And you know how simple when we have gorgeous paper, I love it when they do a paper and one of the papers is the kind you can just cut like this and have gorgeous cards instantly. So you get a bunch of these cards out of the two sheets of paper. Is this just mm -hmm. gorgeous? All the little things, sending loving thoughts and prayers. And it's so simple. This is Tracy Filter. I think that is beautiful. And then we'll show one. Okay. Are, are we seeing these close enough? Just want to make sure. This flower paper is really fun. I'll be showing, so by January 1st, I'll be showing what's in the card kit for January. You know, that's my thank you gift always. I do something that's a card kit, three things to make. One of them is going to use the calendar. So it's just my little, because you know, I always do one that's a fun fold. Uh, look how pretty this is. This is what's called a floating, floating mm -hmm. card. So if you can see, mm -hmm. uh, it kind of looks, there's yeah. depth in there because these are yeah. spaced on the vellum. This is Heather Guero for a special person on a special day. That's very nice. And that's really pretty. So it's really a strip card done. And I think what's cool about this, look how it's done at an angle. If you do this at an angle, you don't have to worry about getting it straight either. <laughs> I just love it. And I, it's just such a cool look and such fun colors. Oh, that calendar might not have come from Taylor Dixpessons. You're right, Gretchen. That's where I get them because people are always saying, where do you get the calendars? And I got a bunch of them so that I could use them for the January card card kit. I, I hope I have enough. That was the only, so that's why I just wanted to say that. Okay. Then there's another flower set that is gorgeous. Okay. This is more of a way that I use tags and I love this too. Look how we've got the two tags spread out. What a simple card. And that is gorgeous. And little words there. Thank you. And, oh, and a little inside. And this has lost its name. I think it had a name. So if anyone knows, yeah, I think all of these had a name, Karen. That's really, uh, but here is another one. This is Amy Rich. I'm going to hold these up. You've seen more than one with black black paper. Yeah. And isn't that dramatic? It is. I also love this. And this is more of the free paper. And this is the tag. Both of these have tags, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And do you see how these both have the same stamp? This They both go off the edges too, which is really awesome because we want to point that out because your stamps don't need to fit on your paper. So that goes off the edges there. And this, you only see parts of it. And then it's just gorgeous. Yep. And then she's got strips going that way. And the middle strip, she has the words on because that's a light, solid color. So those are really fun. Here we have the same stamp set, Debbie McNeil. Oh, I like, you know, do you realize you can stamp? I forget to do this all the time, but you can stamp on lighter colored 
cardstock and color it in too and look good. You know, you don't have to have white on the inside. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And this is sending happy thoughts for a feeling better kind of day. Got the same flower going on. Here you see the whole thing. I think that's really fun. Let's see if we have any more. Oh, okay. Yeah, we do. Here's another one. <laughs> and this is with that split card texture, which is just always stunning. This is Parakeet Party and then Starry Sky. Aren't they a fun combination? Sending happy thoughts for a very happy birthday. And this is Peggy Toldy. Then we also have this one, which is really fun. This is Marla Schnell. Now notice how she just has the image stamped here, not colored in, mm -hmm. just there. And then the three strips there. I like it. So just a very fun card there. And then we have, you guys are still all talking, almost everyone. I think most of the country is going to have snow. Is that? Am I right? I, it just seems yeah. like it's going far south, at least the whole western part of the country. It's kind of amazing. Now, I think this is from the same stamp set, but I can never guarantee because I haven't studied it. But uh, this is Amy Notch. But we have some with just this little flower. So we have this one. And this one, aren't they just cute with a little flower? These are colored so similarly, but then they're put on very different colors. Definitely. Um, but they're very fun. So this is Kathy Seal. So I think those are really cool. And I have one more, and then we have Tim. I know the Tim's choice, <laughs> not, not what Tim made, but one more of this and with three strips going this way. So when you think strip cards, just think any size, any number, any angle, they're all strip cards. And I thought this is one's really lovely too. And this is Holly, another one from Holly. And now Tim's choice, we're going back to the farm set. I was going to say, how does this fit in? The well, it doesn't. We're going to go back to the farm set. <laughs> yeah. And really the other thing is it's going to be dangerously cold for Christmas. So everyone stay safe as we're going. Okay, Tim. Joanne Blinkerman. Yep. And this is, this is the best. Look at this. Hold it up high. Yep. You guys, this is gorgeous paper. Look at this mm -hmm. fun farm farm paper right there. And look how she's put oh, yeah. the dyes over it. Yep. And then that's in the background. I love that. And doesn't that look vintage? It is it so vintage. And it then does. and then I love the plaid there and how she did the words there. Let's see how that's cut off. So we have the inside yep. and then closes and you have the words. That is and gorgeous. An old-fashioned silo. Yep. A barn. I love it. So, you guys, that is it for oh, tonight for sure. Of course, we're still trying to use our new desk. Remember, on Thursday at 1, you're just invited to come hang out. We'll take in a little tour of our, <laughs> of our little living room. <laughs> and we'll open Christmas cards. And just it'll be our last hangout before Christmas. So, everyone, stay safe. And... Um, yeah, let me know if you have questions. Make sure you request a catalog if you haven't already. And we love you guys. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful time. So bye good bye. night.